What's up, everybody? It's me, Crosspatch. Welcome back to my Madden 21 Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. We are in Baltimore today taking on these Ravens. We're 4-0 on the season. They are 1-3. And, and we thumped them pretty good in our first meeting of the season. Hopefully we have a little bit more of that luck today. While you're thinking about it, please take a second to subscribe to this channel. So you don't miss any of these Steelers games. And we are underway. Hoping our defense uh, is well rested after their vacation against the Cleveland Browns last game. Where we gave up 35 points. And there's Lamar Jackson's numbers on the season. He's doing pretty good. So yeah, 35 points against the Cleveland Browns. That's no good. Kind of a, attribute that to sort of equal parts all mad and nonsense. And uh, my own errors, I guess. Questionable decisions in retrospect. So we'll try to do better today. We can't have it. Can't have those kind of mistakes. We gave up a lot of big plays. But we're off to a good start here. Rookie linebacker Chris Hayes making the tackle in the backfield. We're going to get an Alex Highsmith in there in nickel formations at a pass rusher. Uh, going to have a lot of rookies in the game, as usual, this, so far this season. Get in there. Who is that? Devin Bush. I'm letting Devin Bush do his own thing this season. Uh, I had been uh, controlling him. He's been my user guy up until this point. But he's up to 96 overall. I'm going to let him do his, do his thing and uh, see how he performs without me bothering him. There's a screen. There we go. Barkley takes him out of bounds. And these Ravens are off the field. As they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. So, uh, yeah, we gave up 35 points on defense, but we put up uh, 49 points on offense against the Browns. Oh, we're starting with pretty darn good field position here. And here comes our rookie quarterback. Dakota Kavanaugh, he threw for 400 yards and five touchdowns against the Browns. Has yet to throw an interception this season in his rookie year. Uh, thinking, do I want to let him off the leash a little bit? Uh, open up the playbook a little more. But I still think he is uh, mistake prone. We want to be careful with him. We want to be smart. There's Smith Schuster. Oh, what's the flag? What is that? Oh, and a roughing the passer on top of it. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we accept it. Oh, uh, what do we want to do? Let's smash it in with Connor here. Let's not mess around. If we can, we'll come back and throw the slant on second down if we have to. Oh, James Conner shut down. Conner ran for like 176 yards last game. We had over 500 yards of total offense. It was bonkers. And we needed it to uh, make up for our defensive woes. Let's go, Smith-Schuster. There we go. And we'll try not to miss any extra points today. It is the bane of my existence in recent games. Horrible, horrible kicking. So here we go. Second, uh, second possession for the Ravens. Took care of him pretty good on the first one. Here comes Jackson again. 
Giants somewhere. Baltimore set to take over here for their second position. One of the mistakes I felt like I made last game was that I uh, backed off on the pressure. I was, uh, whoa, and that's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. I felt like I was, uh, I was not blitzing as much as I should have. And there's big David Wiggins picking up the fumble. Who forced that fumble? I'm not sure who forced that fumble. All right, let's go. Once again, we're going to try to smash it in with Connor here. Baltimore has that number three. Defensive tackle wearing number three. That's just weird. Get in there, Connor. Let's go, uh, let's try once more. Two trips to the end zone and well past 100 yards. And going back and watching the film, I prefer to throw that slant, uh, with the ball on the right hash mark in this game with Humphrey out there. Get in there, Connor. Oh, he is struggling on the goal line here. All right, well, we'll go back to it. Let's get, uh, Get Claypool in there. Spread the ball around. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Looking to throw. Kavanaugh. Got his man. It's caught. All right. Steelers touchdown. Take advantage of the turnover. Two short fields so far. One really short field. So, so far, maybe I shouldn't say it, but so far our defense is looking like what they've looked like every game of the season except for against Cleveland. Whoa! Wow! A little Tony Nathan helicopter spin there. Baltimore gets set to take the field. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turnover. All right, let's shut these guys down once more. TJ Watt makes the tackle. Gain of one. And we're going back to our nickel here. Again, we're going to bring pressure. Isaac makes the tackle, but uh, Duvernay uh, has the first down. All right. A uh, gain of five, and we're going to stay in our 3 4 here. They're coming out in an I formation. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake. There's David Wiggins shutting him down again. Third and six. First round draft pick, David Wiggins, from a couple of seasons ago. Getting some more uh, more reps this season, uh, especially on pass rush situations. Uh, all right. Quick slant to the tight end, uh, picked up the first down. Ah, can't get off the block. All right, all right. Don't panic. Nice run by Dobbins. So the big play means just 
just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Yeah, Hayes is a, a rookie linebacker, number 44. He's playing pretty well, but he does struggle to get off blocks. So that's just something that he'll get better at, I think. Alright, so they're down to the 12, third and four. I'm going to stick at our 30. 3 3 5 will. Down goes Jackson. Alex Highsmith. He's another guy whose contract is up this season. I've kind of made the decision not to sign him. Re sign him, but boy, he keeps making plays. I don't know. We do have some cap room. Uh, if I want him, I, we can keep him. It just hasn't seemed like a smart decision. But like I said, every time I think I want to say goodbye to him, he keeps making plays. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points. Not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. All right, let's go, McFarland. We can take. Well, all right, maybe not. Maybe stay there. I was going to say, let's go McFarlane, but he dropped the ball. To take over on offense. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and ten. All right, let's go. Operating from the gun, Kavanaugh. Oh! Incomplete. Physical play Almost a good catch by uh, Doug Peterson, our tight end. Being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit. And pick up yardage, but in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the twenty-five. To throw again. There he is underneath. And he hits him in stride. He'll be dropped after a game. Third and four. Let's see. What do we want to do on third and four? They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. All right. But in this situation, the defense was affected, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Got to be smart with Kavanaugh. From the gun on third down. As good as he's been, he's still a rookie. He's still mistake prone. He throws some reckless passes. But we're going to be gradually opening up the playbook with them. Quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know There's Johnson. First down. And they build that trust. And that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Put that up a little too high for him, maybe. Could have been a touchdown if he could have kept his stride. Uh, what do we want here? Let's go. No, I don't want to run that in that direction. Let's go. Double, double cross. We'll run it this way. So in Raven territory now. Here's a first and ten at the thirty-six. So we're looking hopefully for Claypool. Oh, and I got to delay a game. I'm not paying attention. Come on, man. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course. And that All right. Well, we're going to run that play anyway. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. That surprised me. Following the delay of game. From the gun, Kavanaugh. Get it out to Peterson. Oh, he oh, dang it. That catch good for Couldn't turn it up. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Couldn't turn it up with Peterson. That could have been a bigger game. Game. That we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex 
Oh, dumb throw. Dumb throw. Thought I could fit it in there. Floated it a little bit right. There's the rookie's first interception of his career. Ah. Gotta do better than that. He's going to go back out there, still be the same confident kid. The reason that they drafted him and go out and play. And kind of in my head, I'm thinking, well, I'll take some more chances with him. He's been playing real well. But uh, kind of the reason he's been playing well is that I've not been taking chances with him. So, maybe be a little more careful than that. He can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from. All right, Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick has four interceptions in four games. Let's see if he gets another one today. That would be pretty interesting. Ah. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's a first down. All right. I can certainly tell my age partner. Coming out four wide, so we're going to go nickel and a zone here with four wide receivers on the field. They went early in the draft. Instead, he somehow lasted until the second round. But how great is it to get a guy with that ability who can run it inside? Run to the perimeter and catch the football in the backfield. Be able to Stay in her zone a little bit. That's what I call a steal. The last run got six. Now second and four. Jackson from the shotgun. He's going to loft this one deep. Left. There's Barkley. In a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. When I was in school, map was not my strong suit. But I did learn enough to know how to play cover three. Two corners and a safety divide up the field in thirds. Oh, we're thinking big time here. This might be a bad decision. Can't get a... Uh... Oh, we'll see what happens. There we go. Oh, and he's caught from behind. Well, we got it out of there. Kavanaugh making up for his interception there a little bit. And he overthrows Peterson. Alright. Second and ten. There's Smith Schuster. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Getting it to him in space pays off. Let's throw a little screen here. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions, they're big ones. Yeah, these are the get what I want here. Nope, nope. There we go. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover him. That type of indecision can open up even more big plays. All right. On first and ten. Wow. Nothing like floating it, floating it in there casually. Oh man. <laughs> Press the button a little awkwardly there, maybe. Let's go, Connor. Man, struggling. Struggling on the ground so far. That could change in the second half, though. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. They'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. There's Peterson, broken up. Fourth and four. I guess we're going to kick a field goal. 
Just be smart. Stay ahead. Still have a little time to maybe stop these guys, get the ball back, and score before the end of the half. And then, as, as always, we get the ball coming out of the half. All right, so let's see. We're going to go. I guess we're going to come out of our nickel here. We're going to bring pressure. They're all over. Holy cow. I don't know how he got that off. Our defense was all over him. He's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? I guess he's Lamar Jackson. I guess that's how he got it off. Jackson now on second and ten. Looking for Andrews again. There we go. Are they taking a timeout? Are they coming up on the ball? They are. Jackson trying to hustle All right. his unit up quickly to the line of scrimmage. Oh, almost intercepted again. Mike Hill in. And now it's fourth down. And that's exactly what we wanted. We're going to have a, I don't know, a minute 18, something like that, probably to work with here. Let's go, McKinney. Catch the ball and don't fumble. That's what I ask of you. It'll be a 39 yard punt, no return. All right, so we're going to work the sidelines. We're going to be careful and smart, I hope. We're going to go no huddle. We're going to remember that we have a lead, and we don't need to force things. Like, that was a little bit forcing things. That's why the team has an advantage. That's what and we've got three timeouts. They'll be hoping to make it a three to one ratio here in the second quarter. Miss Schuster. Whoa, threw it behind him. Schuster, that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. Uh, all right, let's, we're going to stick with this. For now, we've got three timeouts. So we get tackled in the field of play, we'll use a timeout. Any offense that has an elite receiver. If you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite Miss Schuster again. He Why does he keep throwing it behind him? Does. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. Ugh. Stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Operating from the gun. There we go. Lead him a little bit. That's better. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Good yardage after the We got time. Good for 30 and a first. We've got time. We've got timeouts. This has been offensively. I mean, and we're in field goal range. What do you do when you're getting torched like this? Now, these receivers are absolutely wearing them out. So There's Claypool. One, get some oxygen. You fill up your lungs a little bit. And number two. And we're down to our last timeout, 34 seconds. We still have a little room to work with here. This was a deal they wanted to get done. They know how valuable he is to this team. Absolutely a key component to what they do and what they do. Uh, if they want to continue to have success in the future. Didn't like they that. They needed him and they got the deal done. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone and it brings up second down. Back to the air. There's Smith Schuster. Ridiculous. Took a pretty good shot as he uh. pulled out. Here's what we're going to do. Kavanaugh's tired. We struggled a little bit there on those two plays. We're going to run the ball. We're going to see where we end up. We're going to take a timeout and go from there. I really don't want to turn the ball over or do something stupid. And there's Connor. Not in. So, fourth and one. 
I think we're going for it. Come on. It's Steelers Ravens, man. Steelers Ravens, you gotta go for it. Let's go, Claypool. Got to do it. Chase Claypool as the first half is winding down. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. They have really had their way. Was well, that a smart call? I don't know. Worked. They wanted to continue to lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league. So they decided to try their best to get one more. Was that a real world football decision? I don't know. I might have done it in real world football. Remaining in this first half is the kicks away. Near the back of the 17 seconds. Let's avoid anything dumb happening in 17 seconds. Let's go, Dime. Dime cover three. Actually, let's not go Dime cover three. That's. They're gonna run the ball. They are. And that should be it for the half, I think. You're only going to pull them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. All right, we're going into halftime up 24-3. Pretty good half. One interception thrown. Um, a little bit my fault trying to fit it in there. A little bit uh, just Kavanaugh kind of floated it. Thank you very much. More from you two in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught. And let's get back to it. On we head to half number two. So for the Let's get back to it. All right, McFarland, don't drop the ball. Let's go. And we're going to go back to that cross play, that uh, deep crosser that has been successful a couple times for us. I really like having somebody a little bit faster uh, in that slot position. Let's get Smith Schuster in there. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff. And it's open time, again. Smith Schuster, can he beat him? Ah, oh, still can't beat him. Nice first All right. Still a big game. Can't be unhappy about it. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one rips, the other's right there. The announcers think that our offense is like a comedy team. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. All right, here we go. From the gun, Kavanaugh. I, uh, I would love to get it. Back when I had Roethlisberger, I would have tried to fit that into the tight end, but that is the play I threw the interception on before, so. So we will take the easy route here. I think that's the play I did. A similar play, anyway. Connor. Is Connor injured? Give him a yard on the run there, and that's no. going to set up a third down and two. All right, let's keep smashing it forward with Connor. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped it. Connor running over safeties. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of 10 good for And he is not fired. Well, but we're going to keep him going here. Because they're playing this game now. At their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. On first and ten is oh, safety's revenge. After only a yard. Let's try that screen again. That's stupid. Let's not. Let's do that. Let's try that screen again. Second and nine. What's the worst that could happen? My trip's weak. Is that what I want? Halfback slip screen. Let's see. Let's go, McFarlane. Got to throw it out there with a little more authority this time. Now they'll switch it up here. 
Yeah, a little bit. Uh, not much better. All right. Third and 13. Once again, we don't want to do anything dumb. His first rushing yard of his career. And we'll kick another field goal. Once he got out of the box, whether he just throw the ball away and he winds up only picking up a yard or two. And Boswell's kick is good. And that will extend the Kavanaugh much better and uh, not super fast. I think he's only like a 79 speed or something, but uh, decent acceleration, much better at scrambling than Roethlisberger was. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives him a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field. All right, let's go, D. Yeah, it would seem as though we have this game in hand, but terrible things happen on all Madden. It's getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. Forced out to his left. And they're able to get this one. And Jackson with his, with his legs picks up the first down. I got a little turned around there. There's Fitzpatrick again! Five games, five interceptions. And I think that might be his third return for a touchdown. So our defense is back from vacation, it looks like. I mean, I don't know who goes... I mean, I don't want to insult Cleveland. I mean, I'm sure it's a lovely town. I know they've got the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, some other things. But, you know, Cleveland is not what I think of a, as a vacation spot. But evidently, that's uh, what our defense did. They took a nice little siesta, little vacation in Cleveland. And now they're back. There we go. Cover three out of our nickel here with four wide on the field. Last time they ran the ball out of this, so let's be aware of that. And they're doing it again. Fitzpatrick makes the tackle. Then coming together as a group. Fitzpatrick making a case for Defensive Player of the Year early in the season here. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. You think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. What do we have? Third and one. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step and utilizing this position is to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. It's a bigger, stronger guy. Maybe not quite as elusive. Duvernay picks up the first down. Get the big yardage there. You might have a smaller back. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short. Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Jackson on first down. Another intercept. Fitzpatrick again. Are you kidding me? He's everywhere. Six interceptions on the season through five games. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup. Start loosening up. I think I'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Wow. Well good with the extra point. And the lead will swell by one more. 
So Minka Fitzpatrick, two interceptions, both returned for touchdowns in this game. In this quarter. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And tackled at the 21 yard line, so a net negative there. Of four so I don't know what went on against Cleveland. I don't know why we struggled with them so much. Again, maybe my own fault. I mean, I've done a. I had done several recordings that day, and I was feeling a little loopy, so maybe I was just out of it. I don't know. Third and nine. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Here's Jackson to throw. Trying to set up a screen. Cam Hayward blows it up. David Wiggins on the recovery. The new steel curtain is standing up. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. Now, well, we've still got a quarter to go. Oh, and our right tackle is injured. I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, John Keller has played well so far in his career as a Steeler. We may be moving him inside the guard uh, whenever Castro uh, DeCastro retires. But for now, he's a... Man, what am I doing here? For now, he's a... He's a pretty darn good uh, right tackle for us. What do I want to do here? We're going to run that... I, don't know. I just don't want to make any mistakes with... Uh, let's run this. Let's run a post wheel. I don't want to make any mistakes with Kavanaugh here. We're playing. He has one interception, but otherwise played pretty well this game. All right, there we pick up the first down. And that is the end of the third quarter. Once again, we are landing on the Baltimore Ravens. And I am thinking maybe pull Kavanaugh here a little bit. We get another touchdown on the board. And there's J Oh, come on, Connor. Connor is struggling. So you know what that means. You know what's coming. You know what happens on second and goal when we don't get the ball in, uh, running it and first down. Should have put a different receiver in there. And there's my mixed extra point, as promised. They seemingly just continue to Coach, score. come on, don't act disappointed. You have to be expecting it by now. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we are going to pull Kavanaugh. There is no point in subjecting him to uh, errors or mistakes throughout the rest of the season, or the game, <laughs> or the season, but the game specifically today. So we'll get Brad Cora in there. We need to develop him a little bit. He's going to be our backup to Kavanaugh, at least over the next three seasons. So it would be good to get him some reps. Alright, here comes our defense once more. And this is the time of game where I miss a feature that was in older Maddens. Uh, like 15 years ago, where you could create your own packages of players, right? So in a 3-4 defense, you could, uh, you know how you have sub packages, uh, linebacker swap or whatever? You could create packages and uh, put whoever you wanted in there. So, you know, you could create a package of backup players, and with one click, you could just put all your backups in there in one shot. You didn't have to go to the depth chart and put them in there one by one. 
So this is the time of game I would use something like that. Dang it. <laughs> uh, to get a lot of my starters out of there. It's just too tedious to go through uh, to go through it, especially recording for YouTube. I'm not going to make you guys sit there while I go through and replace my uh, backups one by one, or my starters one by one. There's another screen, and Hayes runs right by him. What am I doing? How did he not lock on to him? I guess I need to be a little more alert here with Hayes. I don't know. There's Fitzpatrick making a tackle. The ever-present Minka Fitzpatrick. Decent play by Hilton there. And we've got a third and two. On third down, two for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. And Jackson throwing once more. Jackson running for his life. Someone coming up and hit him. Oh, come on. Fourth and two. And they're kicking a field goal. And your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. And this one is right down Broadway. And they'll get back three, but this and one are they going to go? Deficit. On the grand scheme of nope. things, those three points. I was going to say, it had been kind of funny if they had kicked a field goal and then uh, went onside kick. They've been outplayed all game long, but let my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out. Dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing. All right, so 47 to 6. Um, we're going to have Brad Core in here at quarterback. We're going to see a little Juan Cobb action. Our rookie, our rookie halfback. And we're going to go, uh, two clock. So, um, I was on the fence at the end of last season when Roethlisberger retired, and I was asking myself, do I want to draft a quarterback? Because I had, I had some rough drafts with quarterbacks up to that point. Or do I want to spend my uh, first draft pick and my first and second round on defensive players? And try to develop uh, Brad Core. He's gonna sling this deep and that will be I don't know why I flung that up to him like that. Uh, so obviously I decided to draft a quarterback. It was a good decision. But I was thinking back to... Uh, not thinking back, but, uh, you know, because I know about... Um, the 1983 draft with Dan Marino. Uh, Dan Marino was a Pittsburgh native, Pittsburgh area native, who played his college football close to home at Pitt. And as you surely know, he went on to become one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history. At one time, he held the uh, he held the record for career passing yardage. And uh, did you know that the Pittsburgh Steelers had an opportunity to draft Dan Marino? Um, and, you know, you can imagine as a Pittsburgh area native, Marino would have loved to, I mean, he, I don't know that he's ever said it, but it's easy to imagine he probably would have been like playing for the Steelers. Close to home, hometown hero. But the Steelers passed on him. They uh, drafted a, a, a defensive tackle named Gabe Rivera instead. And uh, Rivera played a few games. And to be fair, Rivera was a heck of a player. I mean, if the things had panned out, I don't know. But as it happened, Rivera uh, played a few games, uh, got in a tragic car accident, and his career was over. And Marino, as you know, went on to become 
Well, Dan Marino. So if you're a Steelers fan, let that sink in a little bit. The legacy of Steelers quarterbacks could have gone from Terry Bradshaw to Dan Marino and then uh, a little bit of a break and then Ben Roethlisberger. So the Steelers could have had four Hall of Fame quarterbacks in uh, from 1970 to now. There's T.J. Watt taking him down. So this is what I, this is what I was thinking of as I was thinking, ah, maybe I don't need to draft a uh, maybe I don't need to draft a quarterback in the first round. Maybe I'll take a defensive player. And that is why Dakota Cavanaugh wears number 13 because that was because that's Dan Marino's number. Not that I'm a particular uh, Dan Marino fan, but. I thought it was significant, as a Steelers fan. And there is, once again, Crosspatch Gaming, not only your source for Madden content, but also NFL history. Oh, I thought that was another interception for Fitzpatrick. Ah, oh, so this'll do it. If you have stuck it out through all of this, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the game. If you're a Steelers fan, I hope you liked uh, watching us beat up on the Ravens a little bit again. Oh, and there's that defensive tackle, number three. And that's the end. We're going to take a look at some stats. Baltimore Ravens uh, coaching staff, once again, beside themselves with grief. So what do we have? Four interceptions? After a nice little vacation in Cleveland, the Steel Curtain, uh, modern Steel Curtain is back. Not a great day running the ball at all. It's a little surprising, but got the job done. And they'll return home next week to take on the Cleveland Browns. Jackson, uh, not great. Uh, decent completion percentage. Three interceptions. Dakota Cavanaugh threw his first NFL interception today. Did throw four touchdown passes. Almost 300 yards. Uh, Brad Core came in and mop up duty a little bit. Uh, tough sledding for James Conner today. As well as Juan Cobb. Yeah, not great on the ground. Smith Schuster with a big day. Chase Claypool, four catches for 15 yards and, th and three touchdowns. Okay. And uh, Deontay Johnson with a good day. Peterson shut down a little bit today. Now let's take a look at our defense. Fitzpatrick led the team in total tackles. Of course he did. Watt with two sacks. Hayward, Highsmith, Bush... All with sacks. And Minka Fitzpatrick. Well, Barkley had an interception. Minka Fitzpatrick, two interceptions. 75 yards. And two touchdowns. So that's it. Our defense is back. I hope you enjoyed the game. If you did, please go ahead and uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff. Whatever you decide to do, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you next game.